What is up guys, my name of course is Carlo and welcome yet to another video and today we are looking at Shadow um, I got it because I wanted to add a second workflow to my uh, video editing, editing needs so I could have um, multiple choices of what I wanted to use now according to Shadow um, yes this is designed for playing games but you can, can do content creation on it Windows 10, you can install any game of Steam. Where's any game of that. Adobe Premiere? So here, I don't think they want, install Adobe it, right? Premiere here, but of course you can download Adobe Premiere and install it. You can you do can Photoshop. Video. You can do. You can edit whatever you want on your Mac. Just you can use any software that's supporting Windows, basically. What I want to do is use my Chromebook. Yes. To edit 4K 60 video. It's the fastest editing system in the world. With right? the shadow, you will not have problem at all to do that. No problem to do that. No problem at all to do that. And it's, like really, a, it's like a dream, no? Exactly. Yes, it's really it's freeing idea, you it from idea, any idea, hardware idea. constraint. Now, I've got it, and I'm going to start the platform now. As you can see, we're in the Mac in the background. Um, I'm just going to try and show you this as best I can. Um, I'm going to start the shadow service now, but there is a few th things that are just not making any sense with me. Um, here we are. We're in shadow um, at the moment. I'll just blow out full screen. As you can see, I've got the full... Um, Windows desktop on the PC and if I want to go to Mac I'll just swipe over if I want to go back to Shadow boom I'll just swipe over to that now don't get me wrong the actual performance of it I think is absolutely incredible it does feel like a local machine I won't lie to you I'm gonna fire up Premiere Pro now um, Premiere Pro is loading up I've got it installed on Shadow um, on Windows 10 um, it's far, it's lightning fast, don't get me wrong, it really is fast, it's fast for downloading, um, it's fast for for everything and even here, if I just open up a project now, I'm going to drop in some 5k footage, it's doable, okay, you, you can edit, um, I've got some raw 4k footage on here, I'm going to download, I'm just going to drop that into the timeline now, as you can see I've got it there on full, and then we're just going to play it back. And as you can see, um, it is a bit juddery. Um, if you go to half res, um, works absolutely perfect. Play it back on a half res. But once you render, you can work in uh, full full resolution straight away. So if I go to uh, render in and out, let that render. It renders really quick. It's lightning fast. The actual service is absolutely phenomenal. If you're using it for playing games, you're laughing. I mean. This feels like a normal PC to me. It feels like a Windows 10 PC. Um, there's no lag, nothing. It feels absolutely phenomenal. The only problem is this. I'll show you what the only problem is. This. Can't plug nothing into it. Nothing will show up. My hard drives, I've got nearly uh, 52 terabytes in hard drive stories, uh, storage uh, hooked up to the iMac um, at the moment. And I've got a lot of it in FAT32, so it's Windows compatible and Mac. So it'll work on Mac and Windows at the same time. Nothing's coming up. The sound from the speakers work absolutely fine. The mixer's coming through absolutely fine. Um, there's no dual uh, multi-display uh, setup because it does support multi-display at the moment, which I already knew, so that's not a problem. But the fact is, I can't plug any of my hard drives in and I can't transfer any data via USB stick um, or an SSD from the Blackmagic Cinema camera makes this redundant, makes this useless for video editing. You can do it um, if you download stuff off the web, as you can see here. This scrubs through no problem. If I go to full res now, because we've rendered the timeline, as you can see, this is uh, 5K footage. Let me just uh, show you here. Close that because it's still not looking at my Mac. This is a uh, 5K uh, footage uh, shot in a red camera on a red camera and it works, works absolutely flawlessly. So if I just the, the keys are absolutely different because I'm using Mac side of it. So as you can see, it runs flawlessly. You know, if you go to the to the preferences or go to edit, we'll go to preferences and we we'll go to general and then we click on. Uh, playback, not playback. Uh, where is it? General. So I've lost the plot. Graphics, uh, not graphics. I'm in the wrong bit. I do apologise, guys. I think 
because this annoyed me a bit. I've just uh, paid out quite a bit of money to um, use this service, and I had a lot of um, good hype with it, good hopes for it. Okay, so the Mercury Playback engine, as you can see, is there. CUDA is fully optimized. You've got the Quadro P5, P5000, I think, 16 gig graphics card uh, running with this. It's a beast, right? It does exactly what um, the power wise and the performance of the service is exactly what Shadow say it is. Um, so, running video games on this thing is going to be like lightning fast, it's going to be amazing. But they did say, and in one of the videos, they did say you can edit on this, um, which you can. The only problem is there's no hard drive support. You can't use any of your things. You can't plug, I can't plug my SSD in for my um, Blackmagic Cinema camera because it doesn't recognize it. As soon as I plug it, plug it in, it'll recognize it on the Mac over this side, but it doesn't recognize anything on the shadow side, which is confusing. So, yes, for video games, it's gonna be incredible. But unfortunately for um, video editing and, and, and content creation, it's going to be pretty obsolete. It's going to be pretty useless because um, you can't transfer your data over to it, uh, which is crazy. Not only that, you don't get Windows Professional. You get Windows 10 Home, which does limit you in, in quite a few things. Um, if we go to the spec sheet of this... Sometimes it does drop out, but I'm running a really fast connection at the moment, so it should be absolutely fine. So as you can see here, it gives you the full Windows 10 experience. So here we go, Blade. You get the new Xeons E5 2677s, um, eight cores, 12 gigs of RAM, which I think is a bit mediocre for, for what it is. Um, and then you get the Quadro uh, uh, P5000, which is a GTX 1080. Um, in essence so bit disappointed with this I didn't get it to game even though it'd be great to game on this I got it to say for instance I could have Premiere Pro running on this and do some work on that on a different project and then I could swipe this way and have Premiere Pro running on on the Mac and work on that or I can have the idea was to have After Effects running a totally different thing on Mocha or whatever um, or my iPhone modeling for a film or whatever and then scroll across and then I'm in my Mac setup to do um, other work but it's, it's not a video to knock it I'm not knocking the service I think the service works it's great and like I've just said it feels like a local machine this does not feel like um, this is streamed um, this operating system it feels like it's actually your computer it does it does do what it says um, on the tin, it's amazing, you know, even to open up software, say if I open up uh, After Effects, I downloaded a uh, video copilot uh, project file, so I quickly load that in for you to, to show you it works, I mean, here it goes, it's, it's firing up, uh, straight away, and on the iMac I am screen flying this, so I don't know whether it's going to record this, or the screen behind it, so we'll have to see if screen flow actually records uh, this screen, it should do, because um, I'm using the Mac screen flow to record this desktop. It should record it, in essence. If it don't, it don't. You can still see what I'm doing anyway. Um, <clears throat> so, it loads it up. It could load up a little bit quicker, but, you know, what do you want? You know, you can't moan, really. Um, I haven't got all my plugins on this. This is just the... Um, After Effects, for instance, um, just as raw as it is. Um, I have them... I've been basically testing this out, out to do this video. Um, and I've been praying that it works okay. The only thing is I can't transfer no data, which is which is no good to me. It's no good. If I can't get my files from the cameras onto the computer because the, the hard drives are not recognized, um, there's no point. So if I go to, I've got an Android Kramer project, so I can, I'll show you it's working. Uh, Have a look. So I've got the lightning project that Andrew Kramer did. The loader in view, so you can see. And now it's look fast as anything loading up. Now it does need rendering, but as you can see, it's rendering on the fly. Look, with no bullshit. Do you know what I mean? It's really, really good. 
Now, I will contact uh, Shadow to see how I get my... Because I have been thinking about keeping it as a main machine. If it had multi-screen support, like I could use all my screens, then I would definitely consider keeping Shadow as my main machine because they upgrade your soft your hardware every time something new comes out. So in essence, you've got a computer forever. You don't ever have to upgrade it, which is, you know, it takes a lot of hassle from you um, in the long run. But at the end of the day, it's not um, recognizing the hard drives. It's not recognizing things that I plug into it, which is a bit strange. It's meant to be a full-blown PC at the end of the day. So if I pl if it's recognizing the audio hardware for say my mixer and my, and my and my speakers, why is it not recognizing the hard drives? Now, when you go um, into the thing, you do get an option to buy another one terabyte hard drive space. But I don't want my storage uh, bought from Shadow. Yes, I know I need the storage to run the application, which is fine. You get the 256 gigabyte SSD uh, with it. That's absolutely fine. But I don't want the um, their storage. I want my own storage. It's a computer. I want to use my external hard drives um, that I've already got. So a little bit annoying with that. We'll see how we go. I've got... There's no... Um, uh, contracts involved in subscription on this so if I can't use my own hard drives and my own bits and pieces for it then there's going to be absolutely no point me keeping it now if there's any people out there that are using shadow um, that are able to connect their hard drives and their bits and bobs directly and use it off the off, off the shadow uh, uh, setup then please let me know how you, how you did it uh, but in the long run brilliant service but Without me being able to transfer my camera data and my, and my audio data onto the system, there's no point. Uh, there's nearly no point. Which makes me really, really sad because, excuse the pun, I know there's lightning on the screen, but this is lightning fast. So yes, that's it. That is my direct sort of opinion on Shadow. Um, great for gaming. Absolutely amazing. You're going to play all the latest games on it. Absolutely fine. I would go with the one terabyte option that you've now got for two ninety five. Uh, UK money, so it's two pound ninety five for an extra one terabyte a month, um, and it's twenty seven pound uh, for the service. So twenty seven pound a month for the service, plus the um, three pound uh, a month for the one terabyte storage. Pretty pretty good. If you're just playing games, I reckon it's it's absolutely excellent because you can. I'm sure Shadow will update the storage um, as they go along, but as far as using it for content creation and video editing, so on and so on. It's not going to be any good, um, unfortunately, uh, which is quite sad. Gaming's different because everything's digital with gaming. You can just download your stuff from Steam directly into it. You can download it from everywhere. You know, Fortnite, you download directly digitally to your to your <coughs> excuse me virtual hard drive. But when it comes to getting data, like video files, and putting it onto it, it doesn't recognise your hard drives. It just doesn't pick anything up, um, which is mad. So that is it guys, that is my view on content creation video editing with Shadow. You, you can't do it because you can't put your hard drives on it, which is a bloody shame. If they do in the long run fix this problem, then I will definitely go back with them without a shadow <laughs> of a doubt. But until then, um, put video editing, unfortunately it's not for me. Even though my iMac can do everything this can do, um, it would have been nice to have a second computer built into the computer I've already got so I can do some um, Maya work, uh, so on and so on, whilst um, editing um, in on the Mac, because I do all my editing on uh, Adobe Premiere Pro on the Mac, um, and it's not going to use the resources of the actual iMac itself, it's going to use the resources of Shadows, so it's going to use the Shadows hardware, which would have been absolutely fantastic. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, smash that like button. And as always, definitely catch you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.